Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can add your Zoom meeting details into your Google Sheet automatically. So guys, with the help of this automation, you don't have to manually create the record of your Zoom meetings into your Google Sheet. Here, as and when you are going to create a new meeting, the details of the meeting along with the joining link of the meeting will be added into your Google Sheet automatically and it will save a lot of your time. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So let's begin. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pabli Connect which is an automation tool and this is the landing page of Pabli. And I have pasted the same link in the description as well. So from here you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay. So you can just sign up right now and after that you have to sign in and you, you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. From here guys you have to click on this create workflow button to create an automation workflow and here you can give any name to your workflow so I am giving the name here as zoom meeting details to google sheets. All right, so after giving this name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So guys, with the help of these two things, we are going to build this automation. So the trigger is that event, which is going to kickstart this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. So in this use case, guys, the trigger would be adding of a creation of a new meeting and Zoom application and the action would be to add the details of Zoom meeting into Google Sheets. All right, so first of all, you have to choose the trigger application. So Zoom will be our trigger application. Okay, so you have to select Zoom triggers. Okay, and the trigger event would be configure webhooks. So this, this option triggers the workflow on several events like when a meeting starts or ends or any attendee joins and many others. Okay, so select this option and then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection option. And here it is asking for the secret token of Zoom application. And for finding this secret token, you have to create an app in Zoom app marketplace. Then you'll get the token. So you can just read the instructions. Let me show you directly how you can uh, find this token. So guys, uh, this is my Zoom meeting applications dashboard. And here when you scroll down here on the left hand side panel, you will find this advanced option click on it and under advanced option you will find this app marketplace click on app marketplace and guys from here you will find this develop option okay on the top right corner from here click on build app and here you have to create an application and for that you have to select this webhook only application okay so click on create in the webhook only tab and here you can give any name to this uh, application so I am giving the name as testing app okay then click on create and here you have to provide the basic information of your company so after filling this information guys you need to scroll down and click on continue here and you will reach the feature section of this uh, webhook application that you are creating and here you will find the secret token so you just have to copy this token and you have to paste it here in this field and then click on save and you'll be connected with zoom like this. Okay, so we are connected and here it has given us this webhook URL. Now guys, you have to add this webhook URL inside the same app that you are creating and then we are going to uh, con complete this connection. Okay, so here guys, you can see in this app marketplace, here we have uh, got, we got the secret token and here we have this event subscriptions option. So you have to toggle this event subscription button to on and here you have to add an event subscription. So here basically you have to select that event which is going to trigger the workflow. Okay. So for that just click on this add subscription button. Here you can give a subscriptions name. So I'm giving the name as test sub. Okay. And here in this event notification endpoint URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you got in your workflow. So just copy this webhook URL from here and paste this URL here. 
in this event endpoint URL field. And now you have to click on this validate button to validate the webhook URL. So first of all, go back to the workflow and here click on save and send test request button and it will start showing waiting for the webhook connections response. Okay, now come back to the app creation page and from here click on validate button. So you can see the webhook URL is validated. Now you have to add the event on which you want to trigger the workflow or send the data from Zoom to your workflow. Okay, so click on add events button. And here if we have all these events regarding to basic regarding to various functions of Zoom like creation of webinar, recording, Zoom rooms, user, we have many options here. For now we are going to select this meeting option because we want to send the details of the meeting from Zoom to our workflow. So select this meeting option and from here you can see under meetings we have all these options as well. So from here I'm going to select this meeting has been created option. Check this box meeting has been created. Now whenever a new meeting is going to create the workflow is going to trigger. Okay. From here click on done. All right, then click on save. So this data is saved here. Now you can click on continue. And you can see our app is activated on our zoom account. All right. And here you can see in this workflow, it's, st uh, it's still waiting for the web connections response. So this means now we have to perform a test submission. So we are going to create a test meeting in zoom and the details of that test meeting will be captured here in this response section. All right. So let me create a test meeting in zoom manually. So here I am under meeting section. Let me click on meetings. All right. And here let me click on schedule a meeting button to schedule a new meeting. So I'm writing the name of the meeting is new test meeting. I'm adding a description as for testing the workflow. Okay, this is our description. Here I'm going to select the date. Let 13 will be the date time. Let the time is a, as it is. Duration is one hour. Okay. And now let me click on save. And you can see a new meeting is scheduled here in our zoom application. Now let's check in our workflow if we got the details of this new meeting created captured or not. So this is my workflow. And here you can see guys, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see we, we have received the topic of the meeting, the time zone of the meeting, the start time of the meeting. And you can see the event is meeting dot created. Okay. So this is how you can capture the details of any new meeting. And then now we want to save the details of this meeting in my spreadsheet, which is which I have created here in Google Sheets application. Okay. So here I want to save the meetings name, the start date and time of the meeting and the joining URL. So for this, we are going to use the section step. And here we are going to select Google Sheets application. Here is Google Sheets. Select the action event as add new row. Then click on connect. From here, select add new connection, then click on sign in with Google. And from here, you have to select that Google account by which you have created that spreadsheet. Then you have to provide some additional access to your account. So just click on continue. And you can see the authorization is successful. And we are getting connected with Google Sheets. Okay, so we are connected and here it is asking for the spreadsheets name. So when you click here, it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets that you have. From here, you have to select this spreadsheet in which you want to save the data. So the name of this spreadsheet is zoom meeting details. So let me select it from here. And the sheet name is got, uh, got auto selected because we have only one sheet here right now named as sheet one. Okay. <clears throat> And now it is asking for the meeting name, the start date and time and the joining URL. So these are the headers of the columns I have in my spreadsheet. And to fill the data here in these headers, you need to map the values of these things here in this workflow. And we are going to map the data from the trigger step. So we have received the test meeting details in the trigger step. And I'm going to map the labels I have received here in these fields. So to map the details, just click here and the trigger step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will see all the data here only. 
So from here, just map the topic of the meeting in the meeting name field. Then click here on the start date and time and you will get the start time label here. And then the joining URL, use the same process and find the joining URL here like this. This is the join URL map it, right? Now you can check your connection with your spreadsheet by clicking on save and send test request button and a new row will be added here inside this spreadsheet. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request. And this is the response we have received here. Let's check in our spreadsheet if we got the data. And here we got a new row added with the same details. You can see the meeting name, new test meeting. The date is 13. The time is this, the joining URL is this. So this is how it is going to work guys. And we are done setting up this automation. So you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually here. And here you can see guys, uh, the time we have received from Zoom, it is showing us as eight o'clock here, okay? But, and actually, uh, we have scheduled a Zoom meeting on this date at 1.30 p.m., okay? But it is showing us eight o'clock here in this response, you can see, because Zoom application send us the data in UTC format, that is universally coordinated time format, which lags behind Indian standard time by five hours and 30 minutes, okay? So uh, it is showing us eight. So we can convert this time into uh, our time zone using date time formatter feature of Pabli Connect. For that, just click here on this plus icon in between these steps and another action step will open up. And from here, you can search for date time formatter feature of Pabli, date time formatter, and the action event would be format date with time zone, okay? Then click on connect. And here it is asking which date you want to change the format of. So I'm going to map this label I have received here, the start time label, okay? Just click here. And from the zoom step, map the start time label. And here it is asking from which you format you want to change. So the format is as, as it is, you can see, YYMMDD and a T in between then hours and minutes and seconds. This is the same format already selected here. No need to change anything here. And I want to, uh, if you want to save the date in this same format, you can keep the format as it is, or you can select the format as you want. I'm keeping it as it is for now, okay? And now it is asking from which time zone you got the date and time. So I, I got the date in UTC format. So select UTC fr from here. And it is asking to which time zone you want to change the format. So here you can select your time zone. If you're in Africa, you can select African or anywhere. So I am residing in Asia. So I, my time zone is Asia Kolkata. I'm in India. Okay. Now you can click on save and send test request button. And here you can see guys, we got the format change as it is, as we have mentioned in zoom application, you can see the date is 13. The time is 1330. That means 130 in 12 hours format. Okay. Now we got the correct date and time. Now we can paste this label, this result label in this step. Okay. For that, you just have to click here and just remove this uh, already mapped date and time. And from the second step, map this result label like this. Okay. Right. Now you can click on save and send test request again. Let me remove this data from here. All right, and here, let me click on save and send test request one more time. All right, let's check in our spreadsheet. Now we got the correct data, you can see 1330 is here. So this is how it is going to work and you have to set up this automation only once guys. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow. After that, whenever you are going to add any new meeting in zoom application, you will receive the details of the meeting in your spreadsheet automatically like this. And the workflow is going to run in the background. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description. And you can clone it in your own free Pabli connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video. And please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. 
and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel